What is good guys here on the banks of the Tennessee River got an awesome video today I'm gonna show you how to do a wacky rig how to rig it and also how to fish it just a little bit for you guys So let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a circle hook I think this is a two watt circle hook Just a little straight shaft you can use this for like drop shots wacky rigs everything essential hook to have in your tackle box so you're going to get that and you're just going to tie that on however you tie a hook on you can do polymer knot you can also do just a fisherman's knot cinch knot uh and and really really just tie it however you want to now i didn't bring any cutters with me so it's a little difficult but we've got it there so we've got it doubled through you're going to take that and circle it around granny knot it so you got a granny knot there it's tied still got that loop and we're gonna go around the hook that it's on and you just pull your tag in tight button up that that hook or that uh knot just a little bit uh just to make sure it doesn't burn but for the sake of the video i'm not too concerned about that then anyway so there we go we got the hook tied on and you're gonna cut the tag end off of that preferably not with your teeth uh, dentists have told me it's really bad, but I still do it. So use toenail clippers, scissors, pliers, anything you got, and cut the tag end off, or in my case, your teeth. Now, you can use a couple different worms. You can use a finesse worm, or you could also use a Senko. Me, personally, I do like using the Senko. So this is a Yamamoto Senko, or actually, this is a Yum Dinger. Same thing, stick bait, really floppy, uh, and then the watermelon seed color, so... This is an ideal bait for this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take it and you're going to take this hook and you go right up through the middle of that worm. So you got it hooked right in the middle of it in the thick part of that worm. And you're going to basically, while it's in the water, you're going to shake it like this. It's going to flop, trigger some bites. Now, with that, there's a couple little different ways you can fish it. You can wait to find like uh, like bass that are on bed that you can see and throw it at them. Or on top of that, you could also do fish boat docks. Or you can just fish it in open water around like grass or on structure and just and work it back to you. So whenever you're fishing this, first thing you want to do is let it sink all the way to the bottom whenever you first throw it in. So, you know, give it a good two or three seconds, up to five seconds. Lift up on it, see if there's anything on the other end. There's not. Uh, so you can keep fishing it. Now, this, what I like to do is I like to hop it a couple times, make it look like it's getting away, and then kill it. And then from there, kind of just real tight on the line. That way you can feel a bite. So I'm going to do that all the way back to me. And I've got the worm back to me. And then you can cast the target. So there's some brush over here. So I'm going to throw it right at that brush, let it sit, just shake it right around where that brush is. So I'm going to just keep it in the strike zone, and you can really just sit there and basically make the fish bite. So I definitely recommend throwing a wacky worm anytime from early spring all the way to late summer. Um, if there's a big bass, a lazy bass that doesn't feel like eating anything else, this is something they're going to eat. Uh, and it's a very universal beginner top style bait that everybody can catch fish on so i definitely recommend using the wacky worm the only downside to the wacky worm i would say is that it's not weedless unless you get a weedless specific hook for that and even then a lot of times it can get caught up in grass so if that's the case you may want to go through something weightless something more finessey something where you can cover that end of the hook up but otherwise it is really really hard to beat a wacky worm on any lake any river any stream or any pond if you have an area and you're not sure there's fish there this is the exact bait that you need to use starting out just to see if there's fish so i appreciate you watching the video please like and subscribe we just got over 200 subscribers so i really appreciate the the support so far and i know you guys are going to keep subscribing keep hitting that red button and helping me out along the way it's something that I, I've, I've really enjoyed since starting doing this youtube channel and hopefully i'm helping you guys out learn some stuff just beginner stuff but still you know everybody not everybody has somebody to show them this and that's basically who 
who, who I'm making these videos for. You guys have a great day. Appreciate you watching.